So I'm continuing to train for the um, Barossa Running Festival and it's all going really well, but I just wanted to take a bit of time out from training today to share a bit of a story about um, something um, that I've experienced um, working with people with muscular dystrophy. So I want you to start by thinking about your aspirations. Think about your goals and dreams that you have right now. It might be that you're currently engaged and looking at getting married, or you might be buying your first house. Perhaps you've got a fantastic holiday planned, or maybe you're running in the Barossa Running Festival. Yeah. I want you to keep that thought in mind. So my, my day job is um, as an occupational therapist and I work with a lot of people with disabilities. I remember one particular case I had with a young fellow. I just graduated and working my first job and it was probably one of the first few uh, cases that I picked up. And this young guy was about my age. I just, you know, I just graduated. I was probably around 21, 22 years old at the time. And, and this guy was about the same age as me. And, um, you know, he had muscular dystrophy. And what really hit me more than just the fact that he had muscular dystrophy and, you know, this, um, this disability was that he was a guy that was the same age as me. I just started, I just graduated, just started working I was engaged at the time. I just bought a house and here was this guy. He was the same age as me and he could hardly get out of bed. You know, he, he couldn't walk around. Just the simple things that, that we take for granted and he wasn't able to, to do any of those things. And that's what really struck me about working with him. It was just that contrast of where I was in my life and looking at where he was in his life and and that's what really you know really touched a nerve and um you know now i want you to go back to that aspiration that dream that i that i asked you to think about at the beginning now think about if you couldn't achieve that think about if you just couldn't even get out of bed think about if you couldn't even clear your own throat. These are all real things that people with muscular dystrophy experience on a daily basis. And, you know, I think we're quite removed from it because we only see what we, you know, what we might read on the internet or, or hear in a news story. But the reality of the daily life of someone in this situation and their family is, is pretty terrible. So, you know, that's why I'm really proud to be associated with the muscle team and be helping out in any way I possibly can, you know, whether it's through my day job or through events like this. Um, so I'd really encourage you to look into it, get behind me if you can. Um, you know, I'm not necessarily asking for donations. If you want me, that's great. And, you know, all those funds are going to go towards the Muscular Dystrophy Association of South Australia. But head over to my Muscle Team profile page and leave a comment, um, you know, just a, just a comment of support. Um, a few words would be really greatly appreciated. Just at least just so I know that you've had the time to um, watch this video, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, so with that said, I'll just keep on keeping on and see you at the finish line.